As reported by the U.S. Department of Defense, the first F-16 equipped with the Viper Shield Electronic Warfare Package conducted its initial flight at Edwards Air Force Base in California. The F-16 Block 70 of the Royal Bahraini Air Force was piloted by Major Anthony Pike from the 416th Flight Test Squadron. This test is part of an ongoing assessment of the system's capabilities and its integration with the F-16 platform. The Viper Shield system has been developed by L3 Harris Technologies and Lockheed Martin as part of the company's broader electronic warfare programs. Its design is based on previous generations of electronic countermeasure technologies but incorporates an all-digital architecture. The ALQ 254V1 Viper Shield is an internally mounted electronic warfare suite designed to enhance the F 16's survivability against modern radar and electronic threats. It integrates directly with the aircraft's avionics suite and works alongside the APG 83 active electronically scanned array radar. The system includes a digital radar warning receiver to detect and classify threats, providing real-time situational awareness to pilots. Unlike externally mounted electronic warfare pods, Viper Shield maintains the aircraft's aerodynamic profile and preserves external hardpoints for mission payloads. The system's countermeasure capabilities are based on digital radio frequency memory-based jamming, which disrupts radar targeting systems. It consists of six-line replaceable units that allow for modular repairs and upgrades without requiring extensive downtime. The APG-83 Active Electronically Scanned Array Radar, integrated with Viper Shield, provides enhanced detection, tracking, and targeting capabilities compared to legacy radar systems. It improves the F-16's effectiveness in air-to-air -air and air-to-ground engagements while maintaining situational awareness in electronic warfare environments. The radar has been fielded in U.S. Air National Guard units and tested in multiple operational scenarios, including cruise missile defense exercises. During Guardian Shield 20, too, the APG-83 demonstrated its capability to detect and track simulated cruise missile threats across a large area. The Viper Shield is planned for deployment across six confirmed international customers, with a seventh under negotiation, and is primarily designed for the F-16 Block 70. Bahrain, Bulgaria, Jordan, Morocco, Slovakia, and Taiwan have committed to integrating the system into their F-16 fleets. A total of 168 new F-16s are expected to be equipped with Viper Shield, while additional retrofitting efforts are being explored for older aircraft. Poland has received approval for a midlife upgrade package for its fleet of 48 F-16C and D-Block 52-plus aircraft, which may include either Viper Shield or an equivalent system. The F-16 Block 70 incorporates multiple structural and avionics upgrades, extending its service life to 12,000 hours. The aircraft features the APG-83 radar, enhanced mission computers, and updated weapons integration capabilities. Viper Shield is the baseline electronic warfare system for the Block 70, ensuring enhanced defensive capabilities against evolving threats. The platform remains in active production, with multiple nations placing orders to modernize their fighter fleets.